The other thing I always want to do right after they've been bathed and blow dried is that's when I trim feet. Um, usually you want to trim your nails and then whichever technique you use for nails and then I want to trim feet. This, um, I tend to do, let them go a couple months maybe. That's where I'm guessing bricks has been and then I do them I, um, as opposed to doing them every time. Um, when I go to do feet, I tend to use straight curves. I get, it's called a straight curve. So it's a straight scissor. It's not a thinning shear, but the um, sides are curved in. Um, again, a lot of people use that to do the bottom of the foot and then they use a thinning shear on top. Um, I use this type of scissor for the whole foot. So when I go to do the foot, I always start by cutting the hair off the bottom of the foot first. So I take the foot and I flip it upside down. You want to get the long hairs out of the way. And then I'm just cutting here to the pad. I'm not going all the way here or you're going to take it shorter than I want it to be. But some people prefer it shorter. Again, it will grow back. But a Newfoundland's foot should look cat-like, not hair-like or rabbit-like, whatever you want to call it. So it should be a rounded foot and you shouldn't see the toes in an obvious way. So I kind of clean all that up and then I'll set the foot back down. And right now it doesn't look like I've done much, but I've cleaned that hair off. Taking that hair off the pad of the foot is really important for the giving them some good traction. Um, and also... <clears throat> So they don't bring everything in the house with them. Then when you go to do this part, I comb it up. Again, some of this depends on what you're trimming the foot for. Um, and I'm going to just take some of this hair off because it's so long. So I'm just taking it. And you can see I'm taking a little bit at a time. Trying to get a little bit of a rounded look. You can come along the edge here, and so you could turn your scissors this way or that way, whatever you're comfortable with. Obviously, they're curved, so you could follow the outline, but because of how right-handed I am with trimming, I'm not going to change mine. And I'm just going to take some of this because it's a little stragglier than I want it to be. I'll check again with scissors. Or, excuse me, I'll brush it again. And then I'm going to keep taking a little more off here. making little cuts. Again, I apologize for the noisy slip scissors. We missed the sharpening man. Now, some people prefer to take all the hair off their feet, their dog's foot. I don't. I want it to look a little bit like a pom-pom. Good girl bricks. At this point, it's kind of your preference. You could keep taking it down shorter or leave it. Um, even just my quote unquote house pet dogs, when I trim their feet, I tend to leave it like this because it's how I like them to look. I don't want to see the toes 
and I want it to look kind of rounded. However, this is a little bit messier, so it also depends probably how often you want to trim the dog's feet, whether you want to take more off at this point. Or what Linnell tells me she wants me to do. So there's a foot done. And the opposite foot not done at all. And then you can come back. Some people take more off underneath here. Um, again, that's more of what your preference is. I usually kind of look at this. Um, depends how the dog stands, if they stand really flat-footed, or do they stand up tight, up more upright on their feet, um, what you want that to look like. Um, some people clean a lot of that out, a lot of groomers cut that all off. I tend to leave it longer. 